Countdown sponsored by Kellogg's All Brand. Well, I'm not amused by that, quite honestly. Would you like to define it, please? Yes, we realise with some horror it's informal and it's a contemptible or objectionable person. But it's informal, Richard, so I think we would say that we can just get rid of it. It's not a good word at all. No, but you know who to blame. Those names that come at the end of the programme, yes. those are the people to blame. Yes. If they were awake now, they'd, they'd understand the They shame. would. <laughs> they would. <laughs> if they were here, if they weren't in the pub. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, we left you at a very good point. 40 and 71. Um, uh, so, good position for Kevin to be in. But meanwhile, Diane, you can do, you can make it up. So, let's see what you do with your round 11, please. Continent, please, Carol. L. And another. T. And a vowel. E. And another. O. And a third, please. I. And a consonant. N. And another one. S. And a vowel. A. And a final consonant, please. And R. OK, Diane. Okay, Diane. Nine. <laughs> right, Kevin. Also nine. Yeah. Now we knew you got a nine. We thought because those of you who are watching the screen, instead of working it out, we saw you do that. You know when Henman gets the point, doesn't he? <laughs> you, go, yeah. you did a Henman. Anyway, both think they got nines. What's yours, Diane? Relations. 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 Well. Indeed, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your, choose your relations, but they chose relations and it's a happy day for them. So that's well done for 18 points each. <laughs> I've got toenails. Well, obviously I've got toenails, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, toenails. <laughs> well, the huge scores now, look at this, 58 and 89. What did I say? What did I say? Now then, Kevin, letters, please. Consonant, please. P. And again. C. And another one. And another. G. Vowel, please. E. And again. O. And again. That's I. Consonant. T. And again. K. Uh, and consonant, please. And another consonant, thank you. Kevin, that's M. Thank okay, you. Kevin, thank you. Here we go. Right, Kevin. Just six. Now then, Deanne. Just six. <laughs> Deanne, six. Pocket. Pocket. Kevin. Pick it. Pocket and pick it. You've got to pick a pocket or two. Pick it and pocket for the six. Right. Yep, yeah, they're both good. They're both good. Okay, onwards and upwards, folks. 64 and 95. Uh, Deanne, letters, please. Consonant, please. Thank you, Deanne. R. And another. S. And a third. H. And a fourth. And another one. L. And a vowel. E. And a second. A. And a third. I. And a consonant. Consonant. V. And a final consonant, please. Thank you, Diane. That's F. Uh, thank you. Start the clock.
So, Dan. Eight, I hope. Well, this is good, good, good. Kevin? Yeah, eight, I hope as well. OK, what do you hope it is? Flashier. Flashier. I'm flashier as well. <laughs> you are. Not <laughs> bony, just flashier. Flashier, yeah. Yes, well done. Flashier? Yes, that's the owner. Yes. Yeah, we like that. We, we like flashier. Yeah, well do. done. Well, no. that's OK, we well, well risked. <laughs> that's a very good eight. That's, that's eight very good points. So, look, we now have uh, 72, and he scored his century 103, <laughs> and still two rounds to go. Very good. So who's going to get the numbers game? Well, Kevin's going to choose them. Anything you like again, Carol? OK, thank you. I'll do my normal routine, if that's OK. Very common, but nevertheless keeps me happy. We've got 7, 9 and 4. 1, 10 and 75 from the top row this time. What's going to be? Uh, slightly more tricky than the last one. 838. OK, 838. 838. Well, 838 then, Kevin. 838. Oh, on the nose. Deanne? 837. Oh, OK. Well, on the nose, let's have a go. 10 plus 1 is 11. Is 11, yeah. Times 75. Is 825. And add the 9 and add the 4. Absolutely right. 838. 10 points. Well, there we go, 72 and 113. So it ain't crucial as conundrum, but uh, if he's got the 10 points... And his bag and his scoreboard, he'll be doing mighty well. So let's please now ask you to reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> Look twice, and he pressed, and he said... Presiding. Presiding, which is what you will be doing tomorrow, because you will be the champion of countdown. Well done. <laughs> Presiding. Well, that's very good, and that is obviously a, a giant score, not quite the highest uh, of the whole of the uh, series uh, since we started the 15 rounds in September, but the second highest, so that's not bad for your first time out, is it? Yes. So, meet and greet, and hail and acclaim our new champion, Kevin Thurlow. Well, that's very good. I mean, some good numbers games, a conundrum and a nine-letter word, so that's a mighty good score. But a good fun for you, too. Um, 72, 91 uh, yesterday. Uh, last time you were on, in fact, when was that? Friday, yes, Friday. Friday. So, um, well, I hope you're not too disappointed. No, I've enjoyed my time. Well, we've enjoyed having you, thank you. So, uh, like, goodie back to take back. and Lovely, thank you. Hopefully a lot to talk about. So, thank you very much indeed. So, lovely lady, Deanne Mears, thank you. So we have Sheila uh, Addis from Wells in Somerset. Well, Sheila, he was on five seconds on the calendar. What about you? No, no, still trailing. Still trailing, still yeah. thinking about it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you've got into a bit of a daunting prospect for you, do you think? It's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be, the Lord will be on your side. And I say that because she's a doyen of a Wells Cathedral. Eh? So thank you very much, Tom O'Connor, Fiona Stanley, Carol Vorderman. And see you tomorrow. And this is me. Your old pal Richard Whiteley saying, don't forget to write. We like letters, of course, old-fashioned letters, and we like newfangled email, which is countdown at channel4.com. There it is. So thank you very much indeed. Look forward to hearing from you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Touching wartime drama in Millions Like Us, tomorrow's matinee at 1.20, followed by a new batch of puppies in Pet Rescue at 3.15. Well, don't go away, Richard and Judy are coming up with a look at the touchy subject of masculinity. What does your job say about your manliness? Then live at five, next. And you? And all brand. What can you make from that? Eight letters? That's a cash. Clever boy. Countdown sponsored by Kellogg's All Brand.